Hey guys, so in this video, I am going to be comparing the 18 to 135, the new lens that just came out from Sony, to the kit lens, the 16 to 50, and I decided to throw in the 55 to 210 as well. So it's really these two lenses versus the all in one 18 to 135. And the purpose of this is really to determine are you going to get images that are worth the extra price tag of the 18 to 135? when you compare it to uh, the cheaper kit lens option. So let's start by showing you these lenses up close. So I've said this before, the 18 to 135 is an impressively compact lens for what you are getting. Next to the kit lens, however, it does look uh, noticeably bigger. It's about uh, three times as long. When you bring in the 55 to 210, that is what the two of them look like. So the 55 to 210 is maybe uh, an inch, a little bit less than an inch longer. Here are the two lenses fully extended. This one lens solution will obviously be a lot easier to pack than the two lenses that I have in my left hand. So something to consider. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at some sample photos side by side from these lenses. And I shot all of these on my a6500 on a tripod two second delay. These are JPEGs because I wanted to see how the correction works with each of these. So here we go. So I'm going to start here with a picture of my wife overlooking the 360 bridge. Now these shots were done in aperture priority. I'm going to keep all of the 18 to 135 images on the left and all of the kit lens images 16 to 50 or 55 to 210 on the right. So uh, let's take a look at just sharpness and I believe in these, yes, uh, both of these shots you can see that both lenses did not catch correct focus. Uh, so it's a pretty fair comparison here. Again, slightly different settings, both at f3.5, same ISO, but the shutter speed is a little faster on the kit lens. But I'm curious to see, since both lenses focused on the background, which one looks better. 18 to 135 looks better to me here. Same story over to this side, uh, very soft on the kit lens and better with the 18 to 135. So if I were to uh, hand it wow, super soft on the kit lens, 18 to 135 looks a little better. Look at that. Uh, so neither lens is really excelling here, but uh, when you take a look at the entire frame, the 18 to 135 is more clear throughout the frame. These next two shots are done at f10, uh, one over 160 of a second, and wide at 18 millimeters and then 16 millimeters on the kit. So if you guys are wondering how much wider uh, 16 is instead of 18, here's 18, here's 16, 18, and 16. 18 and 16. You can see uh, switching back and forth, there's a bit more barrel distortion with the 18 millimeter, uh, and the colors are a little bit more contrasty, actually. Uh, it looks kind of good. So anyway, let's compare these two um, side by side. So zoom in to the center. 18 to 135 looks better here. More detail in the water. Moving over to the edge. Neither one looks amazing. The kit lens looks a little bit better right here. Let's take a look at the other side. Uh, 18 to 135 is a little sharper. More detail with the building. Yeah, so kind of what you expect. Uh, 18 to 135 even at 18 millimeters, even though it's not great in the corners, uh, is still on par, if not slightly better than the kit lens at 16 millimeters. This next shot is at the extreme, so zooming into 50 millimeters on the kit lens versus 50 on the 18 to 135. Let's see if uh, we see a difference here. 18 to 135 is noticeably sharper here, uh, more detail in the hair as well. So that's a clear win. You can see the difference right there, soft and a bit sharper. Uh, back around bokeh, both are at f5.6, so it's the same. So again, in aperture priority, straight out of the camera, um, both 
at f5.6, same ISO settings. For whatever reason, the camera is shooting the 18 to 135 at 1 over 640 versus 1 over 500 with the 55 to 210. Uh, and let's see, at 135, significantly sharper here. Um, very interesting. Yeah, sharper here as well. The 55 to 210 is a cheap lens. Uh, it's not supposed to be super sharp throughout the frame. I don't expect it to be. This side looks softer. This is a little bit sharper. Uh, interesting. So kind of a mixed result here. Um, but overall, I'd say that the 18 to 135 is the better um, shot here. Here's the difference between 135 and 210. In fact, let me just do this. Uh, so 135 and 210. You can see just how much closer you can get with the 210. Uh, now, getting close is one thing, getting a sharp image is another. So again, in aperture priority, so this is typical of what you will get if you're just using these lenses auto uh, and 5.6 versus 6.3. So in theory, the 55 to 210 should be sharper here um, because it's stopped down a bit more, shutter speed is slower, uh, but you can clearly see that it's very soft at 210. Uh, let's see, here's the same house. Even though you're closer, you can see that the 18 to 135 is clearly much sharper. In between my sample shots, I caught a couple of cars here, a Lambo and a 911. Comment down below which one you would prefer if you had the choice. All right, so next one, I'm gonna do a couple of low light shots. Uh, so you can see just kind of a sunset. Uh, this is done at 50 millimeters and 55. So uh, difficult to get an exact uh, millimeter on each of the lenses. Let's see if we'll see much of a difference here. Um, not very much here. 55 to 210 looks a little bit more washed out. There seems to be a very small uh, increase in detail with the 18 to 135, but it's not a huge difference. See the colors, uh, more saturation here, a little bit more washed out. And then moving into the corners, neither lens is amazing, but the 18 to 135 is clearly better here. Here is the 18 to 135 versus the 16 to 50 kit lens at 50 millimeters. Um, and ISO 5000, so a little bit more grain with the kit lens and a bit more detail with the 18 to 135. So you can see, especially in the corners, the kit lens is very soft. Uh, I'm not saying that the 18 to 135 is exceptionally sharp, but it is slightly sharper than the kit lens. All right, some more low light here. Um, here's a Mini Cooper, um, so sharper with 18 to 135. Let's look at the back wheel, significantly sharper here. Both are at f5.6. You can see the ISO sitting up there. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty disappointing result for the kit lens. Um, yeah, here's a color difference between the 18 to 135 versus the 55 to 210, back and forth. So you could see a little bit more natural colors with the 18 to 135, but uh, a bit more warm uh, and you notice that especially with the leaves in the background this is a bit more green and this has more of those warm tones all right so here we go here's uh, some detail 23 millimeter and 24 millimeter at f8 on both lenses uh, so kit lens versus 18 to 135 let's take a look at center sharpness Right away, it looks like 18 to 135 looks a bit sharper to me in the corner. Uh, a little bit more color fringing with it in the very corner. Color fringing, color fringing. Um, let's see, down here. Yeah, 
This is a little more soft on the kit lens. This is a bit sharper, color fringing, more noticeable on the 18 to 135 less noticeable with the kit lens. Pretty interesting result. I think that the trade-off is you get additional sharpness with the 18 to 135, but that comes at the expense of additional chromatic aberration as well. Uh, the kit lens seems to do a slightly better job of controlling that, which is quite surprising. Next shot here is also stop down, just looking down a street. Um, let's take a look at the house all the way down. These look about equal to me. I don't notice much of a difference in the center here. And here, uh, now we see quite a bit of difference. 18 to 135 is noticeably sharper. This is getting really soft. Wow, the 55 to 210 are really struggling here at 67 millimeters, uh, pretty soft on the edges. Let's take a look at the other side. Yeah, same thing, soft. Uh, 18 to 135 seems to be doing an okay job. It's not amazing, but it is not uh, terrible. So that is it for the comparison video. And as expected, the 18 to 135 seems to be a good all around performer. It offers you slightly improved image quality in the center and in the corners of the frame. The one thing that surprised me again is the lack of control of chromatic aberration. The purple fringing is pretty disappointing because reading reviews about this lens, I was expecting it to be quote unquote well controlled. The 18 to 135 inched ahead just slightly in almost every situation. The two kit lenses are decent, but you could tell that optically they are a little bit less proficient. They're not terrible lenses for the money. In fact, for the money, they're really decent lenses. But when you factor in the compact size and the ability to do everything in one lens, it makes a whole lot of sense why people will go out and buy the 18 to 135. Now the 18 to 135 is a bit on the pricey side, so you have to make sure that it's worth it in your situation. These two lenses are very inexpensive. We're talking about $500 here versus about 150 for each of these lenses. In fact, you could pick them up used for about $100 a piece if you search around. So if you are looking for something that's super budget, take a look at the 55 to 210, take a look at the kit lens, which you probably already have. Um, but if you are looking for something that packs everything into a small package and you're willing to pay a little bit of a premium to have that convenience, then definitely check out the 18 to 135. I think that the difference between these two lenses is pretty significant. I remember comparing these Zeiss 16 to 70, which many of you ask about, to the kit lens, uh, and that difference seemed less apparent and less obvious than this comparison. I think overall the 18 to 135 is a good all around lens. In fact, I preferred over the Zeiss 16 to 70, and I prefer the 18 to 105 over the Zeiss as well. Um, as far as the 18 to 105 versus the 18 to 135, I just did a video about that, so check that one out if you guys are curious about which one to choose between the two. That one's a tough call. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all of your likes, comments, and support, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.